calls home The waters in the woods John calls home Find Gillespie to go out with Have him put you on a show You'll both be on the water Before the boss would know <laughs> The skies of me Welcome to John Gillespie's Wisconsin's Waters and Woods. Today's show is brought to you by the Paps Brewing Company. As they say, PD Army ASAP. By your Toyota dealer, I love what you do for me, Toyota. And by MW Marine. MW Marine, your full service marine dealer. Just sit back and wait. Hope that a monster will come and crush your feet. The skies are here. Welcome to Wisconsin's Waters and Woods. Well, folks, it's a cool, cloudy morning in late October, and we're up at the Shorewood Motel at Little Beta Knock. This is the fishing headquarters for big walleyes this time of year, and we're with our buddy Dale Strohshine. Dale, haven't seen you since last March, man. I heard you had a good year on the Pro Tour. Yes, I did, John. It was a fantastic year. Uh, fished both the PWT and Cabela's and ended up with a Top Gun ranking of fifth overall in the country. Well, I hope that'll get us some walleyes today. How's the fishing been out here? I'll tell you, it doesn't get any better. Uh, it's truly one of the best fish in the country come this time of the year. We've said this before, and uh, there's plenty of fish still up here. So for you folks at home that think bait and knock is not alive, let me tell you, there's a lot of fish still left, and you can still do days when you have 30 plus fish. Well, we might get a big one today too, huh? Oh, most definitely. Uh, two days ago, we had two over 10 pounds. Uh, they're they're here, and they're going to get bigger. This is they're just they just keep migrating in from south out in the main bay, and uh, there's just more fish to come. Sounds good, and we'll talk about what we're using, the techniques, and that type. Of thing, right? Definitely. Sounds good, buddy. And all right, this John. week's winners of the 1995 Pass Ribbon Fishing Contest. All of that coming up right after this. Unfortunately, Pabst isn't a billion dollar brewery like Bud Miller or Coors, so we don't have millions to pour into big fancy advertising campaigns. We'd rather pour our money into the beer that you pour into your mug. Guess that's why cold filtered Pabst Genuine Draft has the great taste that never fades, and why people call Pabst Light the brighter light. Hey, what do you want? Great ads or great beer? Pabst. We thought so. Making the difference, I make it. The new Toyotas are here, and for 96, Toyota dealers make the difference. This coming year's gonna be my year. Making, Making the difference with affordable deals on 96 Corollas, with no payments until next year. This is a TMCC lease available through Toyota dealers. Each dealer negotiates his own terms. See your Toyota dealer now. Making the difference, I make it. Backwoods Buck, the complete hunting system developed by professionals. You can create a false sense of security for deer by matching the natural smell of the hunting area with Backwoods Buck mask scents. Then bring your trophy into range by instilling anger or sexual excitement with Backwoods Buck lures. The Backwoods system of products helps the hunter utilize a deer's territorial and sexual instincts to the fullest. For a successful hunt, choose the Backwoods system, the system that makes total sense. Welcome back, folks. As I mentioned, we're up at Little Beta Knock in Gladstone, Michigan for the fall walleyes. And I'll tell you, Dale, one of the important things that we look at when we fish in the fall up here is wind conditions. And you like to have wind, don't you? Yeah, John, uh, you know, without the wind, you're, you're really, you're taking away from the action of the lure. And, and this is what's uh, really a, a key ingredient to being successful up here is having a wind. And uh, it really doesn't matter how big it is. The bigger, generally, the better, within reason. I mean, once you get up to the sixes and beyond, then it gets a little... Six-foot uh, waves you're yeah, talking about. You know, then it gets a little un unrealistic. You know, it makes it a lot tougher to read the boards, and, and everything in general gets a lot diff more difficult. But right, right now, today, we're under some real key conditions. We've got an overcast day. It's cool out. We've got some rain in the forecast. It's got big walleye written all over it. So you like this. I want to introduce John Wondrock, the president and CEO of Wisconsin Farmer Cal. John's with us today. We'll get John a big walleye, won't we? Oh, I think so. And yeah. we're going to be trolling. We should tell the folks with lead line, and we'll talk about those techniques. But let's go get a walleye, man. All right, John. Good enough. Hey, Dale, we don't even have all our lines in. You got a fish <laughs> on already here. Well, <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, John, you're going to have to uh What do I, should I do here? So this way over here? I'll tell you, folks, this is fast fishing. We're still putting our lines in. Could you tell you? You can't tell what size of the fit, uh, what it is well, yet, can I you? I can, but uh, I don't know. John had a piece of this one. I didn't have it too long. 
All righty, walleye to start the day. Now you're using lead core line, Dale? Yeah, lead core line, and uh, basically what we're doing, folks, is we're running a 45-foot lead of uh, 10 pound strand super tough. Then we've got two and a half colors, which is 75 feet. Each color of lead core is 30 feet. And uh, we've got two and a half colors, which gives us 75 feet, John. And I've got 700 feet of backing of 10 pound super tough strand again on the back then. And, and if you we, folks, if you can't understand what Dale's talking about, hire a guide up here, right, Dale? <laughs> that's the way to go, really. That's right, John. Because this is a trip of a lifetime for guys to catch walleyes. You know, the thing is to come up here and, and get a guide for the first day, and then if you want to go a couple more days, you can go on your own. But you really got to have the equipment, you Yes, know? you do. Is he getting up close here, do you think, Dale? Yeah, he's getting there. Wow, this could be a big walleye, couldn't it? Well, John's having, yeah, he's having a hard time here. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> I'll tell you, folks, you're not going to believe the size of the walleyes up here, even the average size walleyes. What do you think this one, Dale? Can you tell yet? It's a big fish. It is a big fish. <laughs> now, they got a new slot size limit up here this year, huh? Yeah, they do, John. One over 23. So you can keep five fish, but yep. just one over 23 inches. And it's, wow, look at this walleye. Holy man, look at this walleye. Whoa, way to start the day. That is a beauty, man. Wow, look at the size of that fish. Now, what is that, Dale, about six pounds? That's a six-pounder, John. It's Boy, a nice fish. Boy, that's a beautiful walleye. And, uh, is this, that gorgeous? This is what Bait and Knock is all about here. Holy cow, and you had three of those on at one time the other day? Yeah. Look at that walleye. Dale, now this, you'd say about average size fish right yes, here? Yes, it is, John. That's beautiful. Now, that's one we release? Yep. Okay. Throw him back. There we go. Beautiful, man. There, you'll be fine. I can't even get these this line on time. John's got another one on over here. Now, what, what did you say? This could be a big fish, Dale? Yeah, this is a good fish, John. I'll tell you what's really neat is how Dale has this figured out here, folks, is he's got little meters on here, and, he, and he's already got it figured out how, how far out to set them. So he says, let it out to 230 on there. And that's automatic, so the guys that are fishing with you can help you out too, right? Yeah, and it makes it a lot better that way in OA. One thing with walleye fishing, you want to make everything as easy and as possible. And the big thing here is repeatability. The line counter is a big asset to how you're going to do up here, John. Once you find the magic depth, the range that the fish are in, you can constantly go back each time, time and time again. What do you, this is a tough one, huh? It's a big fish. Well, John, you, right. it's a tough day at the office, isn't it? And then another big walleye coming in here, folks. Dale, I'm sorry I gotta stand here and hold this rod here, buddy. I, know, I don't have anywhere to go, man. We don't have much choice, John. I mean, when the action is this fast, there's not a lot you, you can know, do. You know, and you were right, too, talking about these three, four foot waves we got out here, Dale. That really helps, doesn't it? Yeah, what happens, John? You always wanna make sure you're using rattle baits here, real key ingredient. Um, Why is that? Well, right now they're sluggish and they're slow, and they hear those rattles, and with the waves surging the baits back and forth, the boat's slowing down, speeding up, the boards are giving us action, that bait is constantly just whoa. Oh, okay, kind of like an injured minnow type yeah, thing. back and forth, back and forth, and, and this is what's triggering these strikes. Have you seen them yet, you guys? That's a good sign when they stay down like that, folks. There he is. Oh, wow! Holy cow, where do you see this thing, you guys? This is a pig, look at this thing. Look at that walleye, whoa! Oh. Now there's a wall hanger. There is a wall hanger. <laughs> look, at, look at Strohshine out there standing on the motor. I love it, man. Oh, is that a pig? Wow. Folks, you aren't gonna believe this is a 10, this 10, 11 pounds, isn't it, Dale? I haven't got a look at it yet, John. Oh, it's 10, 11 pounds, folks. Where do you see this walleye? Whoa! Now, John, last year when you were up here, you had a stringer mount done. I guess you're going to have an individual mount <laughs> done. Right. Oh, that's a big one, man. Wait till we get this thing unhooked. Dale, I'll tell you something. That's phenomenal, buddy. How big do you think this fish is? I'm going to have John hold him up here for the camera. That's a, that's got to be 10, 11 pound walleye, isn't it, buddy? All I know is it's a big fish, John. Well, what it's are you giving me an estimate? I'd say it's, 10. It's 10, yeah. It's it's knocking on the door, that's and for sure. We've been out here a half hour, too, yeah. with all these fish, man. And that's, well, I, you know, I was telling you, today is the day. I mean, these adverse conditions like this are what trigger these big fish. And uh, again, this is something that you, these are days that you want to be out here. This is when you're going to catch these trophies. And it's not that cold today, really. You know, you dress for it up here, but if folks come up here and fish, and I know you've got a few openings uh, for guiding, yes. but uh, they come up here, bring winter clothes, huh? Oh, most definitely. You know, bring the snowmobile suit, the pack boots, the knit hat, a couple of pairs of gloves, rain gear, you know, everything. John, uh, I, I'll shake your left hand on that. Congratulations. Now hold that nice fish job. up one more time, too. Look at that. Isn't that something else, man? 
And that we just started. We might get a 12, 13 pounder today. You never know. Nice fish. Look at these walleyes in the cooler here, folks. I mean, that's just really, you're looking at about an hour and a half worth of fish in there. And we've missed a lot of fish, and we missed a big one, and Dale's got one on back there. Dale, you and I were talking before, you know, about guide trips. Be a good idea for a Christmas gift for a guy, right? Yeah, definitely, John. Uh, we give Christmas gifts or birthday or whatever, you know, the wives or husbands or whatever, you know. It's, uh, it's kind of something different instead of always getting socks and a, and a knit shirt and a sweater, you know. Well, after the bait and knock, you guide ice fishing all year too, right? Yes, I do, John, and uh, we've got a, a real good business on the ice as well as uh, open water. Probably run the, you know, one of the bigger businesses in Door County, anyhow. So if you want to come on up, give me a holler and uh, we'll Well, good perch, good out. northerns, I know, and uh, good brown trout, too. And how's this walleye doing, buddy? Uh, he's snaking around back here. Oh, another nice little eater. There we go. Let me move out of the way here, John. There we go. Another nice eater, folks. Boy, I'll tell you, this pass has been something else, Dale. You know yeah. that? How many is that on this pass? Four. Four in about five minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. Good job, buddy. Some special packages from MW Marine. For duck hunters, this 14-foot model, 1436 Alumacraft John boat with a 9.9 .9 horsepower Mariner motor, a Shorelander B1410 trailer, freight and prep included at $27.85. And we've got all sizes of John boats also on sale. MW Marine also has this V14 Alumacraft. It's 14 feet, 3 inches long. It has a 68-inch beam. This boat comes with a 15-horsepower Mariner and Shorelander B1410 trailer. With freight and prep, only $33.46. NW Marine also has indoor and outdoor storage available. Making the difference, I make it. Something's big at your Toyota dealer. With over a million vehicles sold three years in a row. This coming year's gonna Making the difference with option package savings on 96 Camrys. Even no payments until next year. This is a TMCC lease available through Toyota dealers. Each dealer negotiates his own terms. See your Toyota dealer now. Making the difference, I'm making it. What's there to do in Rhinelander, Wisconsin? My dad catches a huge muskies. Whoa, look at him go, wow. And you saw loons and lake. My mom and dad go golfing. And there's golfing for me too. We go snowmobiling. My mom and I saw a bald eagle. We go ice fishing. For more information and a free brochure on vacationing in Rhinelander, Wisconsin, call 1-800-236-4-FUN. Hey, another one, double header, double header, two on, two on, you got him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a right. big one, too. Two big ones on at the same time? Oh, this is a big one. Is it really? Yeah. Is John's a big one, too? Yes. Oh, this is incredible. Hey, you know one thing we should talk about, Dale, that we haven't talked about is where Betanak is. This is uh, as far north on Green Bay as you can go, right? Jesus, John, I don't know, man. Uh, you're, uh, you don't want to chat right now, huh? This is too big of a fish? Here, you take Here. it, John. This All is right. a big one. I, I, I'd oh, like to my. Take the time with that one. That's Right. A big one. This is a sow. Holy cow. I think we got a double. Holy here. cow. But Dale, Betanak is as far north as you can go on Green Bay, and it's really not a bad drive from Milwaukee or Chicago either, is it? Nope. Talking about about four hours and 15 minutes from Milwaukee, and to catch walleyes like this, I mean, this is incredible. This is unbelievable. Okay, now we All right. Two on at a time. We're quick with the net here. So you're a little concerned about that wind shift, huh, Dale? Yeah, it's not the best wind for us, John, but... Hey, who cares when you're catching fish, right? You just have to make do with it. Oh, this is a nice walleye oh, I got on here, man. God. How's John's doing there? Whoa, this thing is staying down, Dale. That's a good sign, right? Oh, John, you got a tank on. <laughs> a tank. A tank. Whoa, he is big. You're going to be surprised when you see the size of that. Oh, I'm not at all. Not the way he's pulling on me, buddy. Should I just keep reeling real steady? Yep. He's off, Dale. He's off. Darn it all. 
darn it. How's John doing there on his? Close. Oh, man. We got a problem. Oh, that's a pig. That's a giant walleye. Oh, my. Look at that walleye. Oh, jeez. John, you're going to have mounts everywhere in your house. <laughs> oh, man. That's a whopper. Oh, look at the size of this thing. Now, that's another big one. I think we should, you wouldn't let that one go? We'll let that one go. Okay, why don't you throw them over to the side, Just John? That's, a, let's uh, get a measurement on them real quick here. Yeah, take a measurement. Yeah, because that, that's a big fish, man, and I want to see how big that is. Here, let's just get a quick measurement of that fish, Dale, before we throw okay. them back in there. I'm on there. That's so neat to see you guys release and fish that big. You know that? 28, huh? 28 inch. Beautiful right. fish. Now, he'll be all right, right? Yeah, he should be all right. You just kind of nurse her back? There she goes. So you figured that one I lost, Dale, was bigger? John, no question. I mean, I couldn't move the fish. Wow, that's a shame. When you can't move them like that. I mean, they're they're big. Well, hey, let's get back to work here, man. Right. Hey, Dale, I got another one here. I'll tell you something, man, what I want to put out to the folks at home is that you're teaching me how to do this as we go along. And do you do that for uh, the folks you take out, too? Yeah, I try to. The hardest thing, John, is... You know, reading these boards, which you can see, it's not something that just comes overnight. And uh, especially when it gets rough like this, you know, then it's even more difficult. Right. Now, I don't want to make a mistake in how I lost that last one, so I keep the rod tip high and just keep reeling, huh? Yeah, you're doing fine. Okay. And, and, and before, to, you know, to recap, I mean, you didn't do anything wrong before. It's just, that just happened. Yeah. Well, this feels like a decent one. No, it's not. It's up on the surface out there. It's a smaller one, but... Hey, I'm glad we're catching the smaller ones, and that's a good sign for the future little bait of knock, too, is seeing these smaller fish, Dale. Definitely. You know? Definitely. This is a real little guy. This could be the littlest guy I've ever caught here. I'll fling him in, buddy. Ah, actually, he's not that bad, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Another good eater. But you, you teach guys, though, the system, too, which is nice, you know? Definitely. No, that's, that's part of, the, that's part of the, the program, you know, coming with a guide is to learn you know, so you can come back up and do it on your own. Right. Now, see, Dale, I got this all figured out at least a little bit. I know how much line to let out, then uh, put the planer board on. and So next time I go and I want to try this on my home lake, I can try this type of trolling. Exactly. Dale, we keep saying we're not going to film these fish, but you keep getting these big ones all the time, man. I, I don't know, John. I mean, you, 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 can hardly, you can hardly catch an eater. I know. Everything's over six pounds. This really, you know, you could, Dale, you fish all over the country, Canada, nothing compares, does it? No, it doesn't, John. It's hard to, hard this, to beat this fishing. Uh, you be careful out on that motor there, man. Oh, another big walleye. Oh, ho, 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 <laughs> That's an eight, isn't it? That's another big fish. Oh, beautiful walleye. Nice oh. job, John. Smile at the camera, though, man. I mean, good job. Nice that, job. Uh, <laughs> there's another beautiful walleye. Look at that. Isn't that something, folks? What a fish. I'll try it. I wish I could release him a little gentler, but it's too wavy to bend over, you know? We wanted you to appreciate the bold taste of cold-filtered Paps Genuine Draft and bright, refreshing Paps Light. So we made the first ever scratch and sniff commercial. We figure if you scratch the box and experience the aroma, you'll hear us when we say, if you can't taste the difference, why pay the difference? But we didn't find out until after we shot the film that technology hasn't yet made this possible. Sorry. We hope you'll try Pap's Genuine Draft and Pap's Light anyway. Thanks. Making the difference, I make it. The 96 Toyotas are here, and this year dealers are going all out to celebrate. This coming year's gonna be my year. Making the difference with affordable deals on American built Tacoma trucks. Buy with no payments until next year. This is a TMCC lease available through Toyota dealers. Each dealer negotiates his own terms. See your Toyota dealer now. Making the difference, I make Folks, as you know, each and every week we take our television cameras fishing around the state of Wisconsin. But I want to tell you something. Our favorite spot to fish is northern Wisconsin.
These five counties and the Lactu Flambeau tribe invite you to come and experience Wisconsin's beautiful Northwoods. We have the largest concentration of freshwater inland lakes in the world. We have world-class muskie fishing. We have world-class walleye fishing. We have world-class pan fishing. You don't have to go to Canada to catch big fish. We have it all right here up in northern Wisconsin. For more information and a free brochure on these northern counties, call 1-800-569-2160. Another fish on here. Hey Dale, we talked about this a little bit earlier in the program, but I want to talk about it again because of the size of the waves we got out here. Guys want to come up here and fish on their own, they got to have a pretty good sized boat, don't they? Oh. You got another fish on there already? Oh. Oh. This is a big one. This is a big, big one? one? All right, <laughs> look at this guys. Chinese fire drill. Here this, we go. This is a big one. This is a big one? Okay, I'm going to take this one, John. I do, yeah. I don't want the pressure of losing the fish like I did the last time, you know that? John's working on one, Dale's working on one. This and the photographer Tim says, I got to get in the back of the boat because I'm in the way here. Well, get the net. Get the net, okay. <laughs> you all right there? help me take the board off. Here, there, I'll John. do that for you. There we go. I can't climb out of the motor like you do, though, Dale. All right. There, we almost got it. Okay, you're all set, man. All right. John's getting his in here. There you go. Okay. Whoa. This is fun, isn't it? There we go. There's John's coming in. You want to just flip that one in there, John? I think that's a flipper in, even though it's a nice walleye, a nice two pounder, two and a half pounder. How's yours doing there, Dale? Doing okay. Is it a big one? Yeah. Amazing fishing. You got the net ready, John? You bet. I'm right here for you, buddy. Oh, we got another one. Oh, John, over Somebody here, man. Somebody set the hook on this. I can't, folks. I can't. I don't know. I don't know how to figure this net out. That's a big one. Take your time. <laughs> Dale, this is something else, buddy. Oh, oh, John's got a big one on. He does? Well, yeah. yours is a big one, too, here. Poor Tim, the photographer, he doesn't know what to do. Have you seen yours, Dale? No, I haven't. How do you know John? John's is a big it's one, too. It's a big fish, but oh, I can't wow. even get this one. You can't move this fish. Folks, this could be the biggest walleye of the day. This could be the biggest walleye of the day. Right, Dale? Oh. <laughs> here we go, man. Man, I'm telling you what, I cannot get well, this Well, don't get nervous in. now, man. We'll get them. Here he comes, John. There he goes. That's something. Hang on. There. There. Oh. There we go. All right. Oh, big walleye. Jeez. Wow. Still got that one, John? Well, that's a big walleye. John's got a big walleye on here. Wow. This is just... A Folks, I can't tell you, it's just phenomenal. We got one flopping on the bottom of the boat. John's got one on over there. We got one here. Okay. Uh, I, I, nice job, man. Thanks. I couldn't figure out how to extend your net. Sorry yeah, about gotta that. We got to get this because John's got a big one on. I'm All right, well, I'm looking for the fish. pliers here. There's the pliers down there. Right. That's, a, that's another seven pound fish that we're going to release, folks. John, how you doing? You're going to have to scream so we can hear you. Whoa, you all right, buddy? <laughs> Something, this is amazing, a little bait and knot. How you doing, John? Where are you at? Fill me in here. Got a hundred. He's got a hundred. He's got a long way to go, but you're gonna, that was good to get that one out of the net and release him, right, Dale? Yeah, he's going back right now. Pretty fish, pretty fish. Seven pounder here. Seven pounders, we're releasing. That's great, I love it, man. And I'll tell you, I think that slot size limit, I pointed it out before, that's a great thing that's gonna help this fishery. And John's got the big slob on, so maybe we should just turn the camera off and wait for a minute, give him a few minutes to get her in. How's it going there, John? Okay? He doesn't want to, because that's a sign of a huge fish, man. You know, I, I love how Dale climbs out on that motor, too, like that, man. He'll, he'll get him. You get him up here, Dale will get him, I'm sure of that. Have you seen him yet, you guys? No. Dale, there he is. Oh, my! Look at this guy. Oh, jeez, another eight, nine pound fish. Holy cow. That's something else. And the hooks already came out of him. Good yeah. job. Isn't that a pretty walleye? Talk, but that's still a dandy boy. Yeah, that's what, six, seven pounds? Yeah. Six, seven around there? Well, that's great. He'll be fine. Yep. He'll be fine. No, but I mean, you know, you said earlier on the program, top of the show, that uh, people had started talking about beta not going downhill. I can't see that at all, yeah. you know? Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more, John. You know, we're, we're here. It's early. 
this is only going to get better. Yeah. As hard as this is to believe. Now, what uh, about folks that are interested in coming up fishing with you? They can give you a call and, and you can squeeze them in somewhere along the line, huh? Yeah, I still got another guide working with me. He's out here today. And uh, my other guide, John, John Gross, right now, he's. Uh, He's a little ill right now. He had pneumonia. Yeah, let's wish John well. He's a friend of both of ours, yeah. For more information on fishing Little Beta Knock, give Dale Strohshine a call at the Shorewood Motel. That phone number is 906-428-9624. It's time now to announce this week's winners of the 1995 Pasco Ribbon Fishing Contest. This week's first winner is Mark Frick of Milwaukee, who caught this 46-inch tiger muskie on Lake Wasoda using a sucker. Jerry Gock of Lake Geneva boated this 32-pound muskie on the Lac du Flambeau chain using a crankbait. Shelly Linda of Milwaukee landed this 18-inch smallmouth bass she was fishing on Lake Elva. Dave Stewart of South Milwaukee caught this 16-inch white bass on Oconomowoc Lake using a rattle trap. And Clay Zelinka of Madison rounds out this week's winners with this 30-inch walleye caught on Lake Mendota. And that is our show for today. Please join us next week as we head out for muskies and we'll also do some bow hunting for deer. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying Wisconsin's waters and woods.